It's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Disney Princess Ariel gift set from the Disney store. I am so excited about this set because I believe this is the first time we're seeing this dress from Shop Disney, which is really exciting. And then also, this is the first Playline release of Vanessa in at least half a decade, but I'm pretty sure it's been almost a decade at this point. And yeah, I'm really excited to get into this pack. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's pretty basic. And by the way, this set keeps going on sale. I got it for like $60 on Black Friday, but they keep putting it on sale. It normally retails for around 100. I think it's actually on sale on the Target website right now too. They sell it there. Super cool. I'm so excited about this one. So let's get it out of the box. Unboxing on this one was really quick as usual. They're just um, held in with some tea ties. And then they have those like slightly metallic looking ties that are a bit thicker, but you can cut them with scissors. They don't really hurt my scissors. Um, and yeah, the hardest thing to unbox was actually the shoes in that little plastic case thing. It was kind of annoying. Everything's out of the packaging, pretty easy to unpackage, and I'm really already blown away, but we'll get through the review to see if my opinion stays this high. But as of right now, I'm very impressed. So this set actually comes with four dolls. Normally they come with two or three. So coming with four is pretty cool. You get Ariel, Eric, Vanessa, who is amazing to see in this set. That's the, she's the selling point of the set. And then you also get Ursula. You also get a brick. The Max accessory is so heavy for some reason. Like I don't know, you could do some damage with that. And then you get the pink dress, which comes with shoes. They're the terrible Disney slipper shoes, but they are shoes nonetheless. Also with a bow, which I was not expecting actually. And then the purple dress, which I've already put on a model, so excuse that. You also get Scuttle, who I've never seen in a set before, which is pretty cool. Flounder. And Sebastian. And none of these uh, animal friends are figures that I have. I have quite a few Ariel dolls though, so it's pretty cool. And then it also comes with four little hair clips. And that is all the stuff that she comes with that was not, or <laughs> all the stuff that they come with that is not currently on the dolls. So now let's take a look at the dolls. I'm gonna start with Ursula. So we're starting off with Ursula. She's pretty simple. They don't release the villains too often. Sometimes they release classic dolls of the villains. If you don't know, the Disney classic dolls are basically like the 10 to $20 single pack dolls that they release. Some years they do the villains, most years they do not. I do have one of the single pack releases of Ursula. Unfortunately, I don't know what year she is. I found her at a thrift store. She was just on the floor. I also don't know where she is right now. She is currently stored away, so sorry that she's not in this video. But I will say she's basically identical to this one. Like, I'm sure there's some differences. Like, I don't remember the blushing. The blushing is very impressive on this doll. But also, um, the other one is stiffer here. She can stand up a lot better, but this one, there's no way. She can't stand on her own at all. She can stand like this, though, which is fine. Um, and it just seems like there's, I mean, less stuffing, but also they have a seam here. I don't know if there was a seam there before or not, but my old one, she can stand about like this. Like, she'll stand up pretty well on her own, and this one just flops. And she has a cloth body here. It's plastic up to here, and then it just cuts off. You can see that it's flat. And the only articulation points are the arms. Oh, and she has painted nails. And blushed fingers. What is with all the blushing? That's so cool. Huh. Really nice little doll of Ursula. I think they did a good job with her considering the budget that they must have had for this set. And I'm pretty impressed by the blushing. It was not something that I was expecting. Very cool. Now that Ursula's out of the way, I want to take a look at totally not Ursula here. We're going to be taking a look at Vanessa. So I always get asked who this is when I show Vanessa dolls in videos. <laughs> Ursula transforms into Vanessa to try to keep Ariel's voice when she realizes that um, Ariel's actually doing quite well with Eric. I will say that this is the main reason to buy the pack if you are interested in having a Vanessa doll. Vanessa has not been released. I mean, there is a limited edition version of Vanessa, which currently goes for like well over $1,000, even out of box, I'm pretty sure. So that's not really reasonably attainable. And then there was a Playline version of Vanessa that was released, I believe, in another deluxe set, one of these big sets with multiple characters in it, by the Disney Store. It was only released once, to my knowledge, and I think it was around a decade ago. I don't 100% remember the date, but it is so expensive to get that set, let alone the Vanessa, just on her own now. So it's really cool that they've finally re-released a Vanessa doll. I don't know very much about that Vanessa. I certainly don't have her, so I can't really compare her for this review. But one thing I will say, as I was unboxing her, I was extremely impressed that not only does she come with this cape, 
but it's got this like crushed velvet material. I don't believe that it's real velvet. It just feels like it. And like, what? I have never had a Disney classic doll, not in the limited edition, a Disney classic doll, have a material this nice on their cape. The most you normally get is like a suede material. So I was extremely pleasantly surprised by this. It looks so good in the light and I love the, the weight of the fabric, makes the hood stay on super cool. And then it has a little closure up here, which also has a little plastic tie. You can see a little closure and it's one of these ones. It's just so impressive. And then... Let me snip that plastic tie real quick and then we can take a look at the dress. Oh my gosh, does she have the necklace? <gasps> For some reason, I did not expect the necklace. Oh my God. Okay, so she has the necklace, so. Is that to scale? So this Ursula is like way smaller. That's cool. I mean, that makes sense because I don't know, Ursula is not this height compared to Ariel. Huh, how cool is that? Oh my God. Sorry, when I was looking at this doll in the packaging, I noticed that the necklace was not on her, but it was hidden behind the cloak. Oh, that's amazing. So it's just on a string. It's fairly simple. You can move it a little bit to hide the knot. That is super, super cool. And this is where Ariel's voice is, if I recall. Haven't seen the movie in a few years. Sorry about that. The dress? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Sorry, I'm I'm so used to mediocrity with a lot of the Disney store dolls. Maybe Maybe they've increased the quality a lot. Okay, so the dress is basically the same as any other Shop Disney dolls dress. It's just satin. I'm not a big satin fan. If you've been watching my channel, you know that. Um, but I mean, the effect is fine here. It does its job. And this is a cheap doll in a cheap set. I mean, it's a $100 set, let's be clear, it's not a cheap set, but the reason it's $100 is because they instantly put it on sale so that you feel like you're getting a deal for, like, 60 And for 60 which is what I paid, this is a bargain, by the way, with the four dolls and all the accessories. Deal. Anyway, uh, the reason I was so impressed is because these are stitched. These aren't printed on. Disney recently, in the past, like, five years, has printed on everything on the classic dolls and it's been so disappointing so i am extremely pleasantly surprised to see that we have a fully hemmed cape which is pretty cool because they don't hem a lot of things and we'll talk about that a bit later even the strap i'm impressed wow okay anyway let's move off of that so then the skirt it's just it, literally every single disney dress ever case in point has the exact same gathering on the skirt um, so there you go. And then the reason the dress is fitting, you know, a little bit poofy and has this noise is because they just put tissue paper under there. I recommend you leave the tissue paper because it just makes it sit nicely. And then I don't know if this is intentional, but the bottom of the dress, the, the hemming makes it look kind of puckered down there. I do not think that that is intentional, but it is what it is. And then she has, ugh, flat feet. Um, yeah, they've been doing flat feet recently, um, but she has flat feet with these little purple slipper things. I don't know why, but one of the biggest problems with Disney, like the Disney dolls in general, and this has been across the board for the past like 10 years, is that they always have those ugly slipper shoes. I really don't understand why they keep doing it. I, It's the same price to just do a heel. Um, but if they're going to do flat feet and heeled feet, I guess it makes more sense to do the slipper shoes, but God, do I hate them. I really hate them. Anyway, now let's take a look at Vanessa's face, which I think is very pretty. Look at her. So she just looks a little evil. She looks like she's a little bit scheming. I don't actually think Ursula is an evil character, to be honest, but she's definitely scheming. She looks really good. And you can definitely tell that they, oop, they tried to make her look a lot like Ariel because, you know, that's what they're doing. But funny enough, she actually looks more like the older Disney store Ariel instead of the newer one. Perhaps they're using, oh, the older one's face. I don't know. But anyway. No idea what year this Ariel released either. And put a pin in that Ariel because we're going to come back to her. And then let's take that hood off and see. Oh, wow. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, so she has a rubber band here that we're going to snip so that we can take a look at the hair. It's so soft. I'm not used to Disney Store hair being, like, styled and nice for me like this right out the gate. I can't believe how soft and silky her hair looks. It's so soft. Disney Store dolls all use nylon hair, I'm pretty sure. That's kind of the consensus and that's what it behaves like, but I could be wrong. So if you guys know, please enlighten me. But wow, look at that. Pretty. And then let's check out that hair root in case you feel inclined to restyle your Vanessa. Plenty of hair on the head. 
You just have to be a little bit mindful if you're styling because there are some like bald spots, but that's just kind of a standard root pattern. I can't get over how soft it is. It feels like they possibly put like a styling wax in that hair, which is unusual for Disney. They do not normally do that. Cool. Really like this Vanessa doll. And then I'm gonna set her aside because now we're gonna be looking at Ariel. And this one's interesting. So this is my first Ariel with the updated face sculpt. So if you didn't know, they've switched the Ariel face. I don't know if it's the sculpt 100%, but I know they've switched the paint. So I'd like to compare her face, but I wanna let you guys know that I have no idea what year these Ariels released. I can give you an approximation of when they released. So I believe this one is 2016 and onward. So from anywhere from 2016 to 2020, I don't know 100% what year she came out. If any of you guys do recognize her, she has this scale pattern and that top and this face. Please let me know. It would be quite helpful. Um, I only know one of mine, and she unfortunately is no longer with us. I miss her. Um, but she was a 2013 one, so I know neither of these are 2013. Anyway, you can see how different the face is now. I'm inclined to say the new one is more accurate, but I'm also inclined to say that I prefer the old one. But I don't know. It could just be that I'm more used to this one, because um, this is... Yeah, and then you can also see the, the top... For some reason, they do the top like this now. Um, they just, like, put a little, like, glitter bow over a basic, like, bandeau top. Not sure how I feel about it, but there it is. And then they're still doing the little floof thing here, which I like. The It's like a fin thing. I never knew what it was. A, a tail belt, but I quite like it. And I really like the new one better because I feel like it has more, like, it's more dynamic. It's more fun. And then... You can see that exact same gathering pattern. How funny. Um, this has that glitter on it that will shed, as you can see. It's getting all over my finger already. Um, this one doesn't actually have the shedding. This is the older one. Also, it looks like the skin tone might be slightly different, too. It's very interesting. I loathe the scale pattern on this one. I just prefer the simple glitter. And then the tails are about the same. This one has glitter on it. This one does not. There's also a tea tie there. Get that out of there. <laughs> I think the way that they just do a poof of tool is pretty lazy, but it is what it is. These are meant to be like budget dolls, so it's fine. And then compared to this one's face, that's what we have going on. I really like the updated eye color. I think it's a lot more accurate and pretty. And this one I believe is meant to come with like a different dress. I'm not sure I found her at a thrift store, but that would explain why she doesn't have makeup on, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, so... Now that we've looked at the older ones, I just want to like really quickly show you the newer ones face up close. I like the shimmery makeup and I really like the kind of darker shade that they put behind it. I think that looks quite pretty. And the new eye shape is much more accurate to the movie in my opinion. And I really like her little lips without the cupid's bow. It's very cute. Her hair is overall not styled. Usually Ariel's hair is styled at least a little bit uh, in the factory, but they didn't do it here. But this is so soft. I really think they put some kind of like wax in her hair. It's so soft. It's pretty, uh, pretty shiny, but that's kind of just how this hair is. I really like the color of it. It's quite pretty. It's a little bit deeper on like in real life on camera. It's showing up a bit brighter, but yeah. So that's her Ariel doll. Overall, pretty simple. She just kind of has her mermaid outfit on. Um, oh, and this is a good time to show you guys how these dolls are articulated. So they have elbow and wrist and shoulder. They don't have a chest joint as much as I wish they did, especially for Ariel. And then this is just a fabric tail over her legs. Her legs articulate as a click joint at the knee. They're just not cooperating, but you can see that click joint. And then she has the pointed toes, but I think most Disney store dolls have the flat ones now. And yeah, and then let's take a look at the last one, the accessory that comes with this set. So this is Eric. Um, yeah, usually they don't really put a lot of effort into the print stalls. These are always like, I'm pretty sure this is all one piece too. Yeah. So the outfit is all, I don't even want to give too much uh, time to this one. Just know that like, if you're buying a set that comes with a print stall, he's probably going to look terrible. Like, I mean, the face looks fine. The sculpted hair looks nice. The sculpts are always really nice. Um... Annoyingly, they don't have like, oh my god, <laughs> they don't have like up and down. They just have side to side in the head. They don't have wrist articulation. Usually they won't have elbow, but this one does. And then, oh, I feel like mostly they don't have click joints, but this one does. And then do they have ankle? Usually they'll have ankle so that you can remove the shoes. No, they don't. Um, usually, I mean, uh, in reference to other boy dolls, I actually don't know with Disney male dolls because I only have maybe three. 
and I don't really do much with them. Uh, but yeah, that's my first Eric doll. Now I have one. Yay. But let's take a look at the much more important thing. So this set comes with something much more important, and that's why I'm glad it comes with Eric, because Eric gets his dog. So this is Max. This is such a cool piece. First of all, like I said earlier, heavy. This is not a hollow piece. This is like a full vinyl toy. It's very impressive. Check him out. And they have like really nice paint on this. I'm pretty sure this is like airbrushed. Really, really cool. It almost looks like they did shimmery paint in the mouth. You see how it's kind of shiny in there? And the nose is done in a different paint so that it's shiny. Like, how cool is this? I love this. And I don't recall a Max figure existing before. I'm sure one does, but like I've never seen one. So pretty cool. I really like this one. I mean, this specific Max figure, like I'm sure Mattel did one at some point. And then let's take a look at the other little accessories up close while we're here. So here's Scuttle. Um, I don't recall him being this gray, but perhaps I am misremembering. Um, he looks cute. He looks pretty funny. I like that the pets are to scale. Well, they're not pets. They're Ariel's friends. The creatures are to scale. Looks, I mean, this is pretty basic, but he looks fine. I approve. And then we get Flounder. I haven't had a Flounder toy since I was a child, so this is pretty cool. I'm not the biggest fan of his face, but I think it's just the paint. Also, I always hated that he has this, like, weird chin thing. Yeah. Flounder. Simple. Very nice to have one, though. This is really cool to, like, beef up your um, under-the-sea world. You get all these creatures. It's nice. And then Sebastian also looks really good. Like, look at the gradient paint here. He looks great. Super cool. And then uh, I guess I'll show you these up close. These I don't super like. So they're hair clips, which is cute. And they're fun. I think the purple ones are probably meant for like Vanessa so that you can play with her too, which is sweet that they did that. Um, And they're two of the same pink and two of the same purple, by the way. But I hate this style of hair clip. First of all, because you get this big, ugly plastic thing showing. And also it's literally just plastic that you're bending so over time, they will usually start to rip if you use them a lot. But also, I just don't like how that looks. Like when it's in the hair, you can see, oh my god, I keep dropping them, the rest of the plastic piece. So these aren't my favorite. I generally don't use them, but they're cute and fun. And I'm sure there will be people that do enjoy them. And that's what counts. And then I um, move the camera up just a little bit so we can take a look at the dress. So this is the pink dress. I was very impressed by the quality of this piece too. Look at this. It has this trim up here, which I would not expect. Um, I don't think this is very accurate, though. Like, I feel like I know this dress decently well, and I feel like it doesn't look like this. But I like the construction here. I like the gathered sleeves. Just horrible 80s prom dress. We love it. Um, it's got these things. I don't know. This, like, butt cape. I'm, I know it has a name, but I don't know it. Um, and then satin underlayer. Simple. But pretty good quality for one of these sets, honestly. And then you get the bow, which I'm so glad it came with. Although, isn't it funny that they just stuck like those there? Instead of including, like, this ribbon coming down. They just... And these aren't even the same color. It's kind of silly, but um, really nicely formed bow. Looks good. Have to steam it to get the little tea tie things out. But with the Playland doll, I'm a lot more forgiving about the tea ties leaving marks in the satin like that. Because, like... I get it. But with a limited edition doll, absolutely not. But Disney will do it either way, so. And then we have the slipper shoes. These are actually a different sculpt than the older slipper shoes. They have a higher back now, so I guess they won't fall off your doll's feet that easily, so. At least there's that. At least there's that. All right, and there's one more dress. It's this one, and I'm going to show you this one in just a moment after I put one of my dolls in this pink dress because I want to show both of them together. But just know that this set does not come with the extra dolls. I'm just putting the dresses on them so that we can look at them. This is all of the outfits that the set comes with for Ariel. And again, this is the Ariel doll that comes with the set. These two I'm just using for illustrative purposes. Also a reminder that these stands do not come with the set. These are stands that... I buy on Amazon and use for my dolls. Anyway, uh, I had a hunch about the pink dress being horrifically wrong. Just, I was looking at it and I'm like, something's really off and I couldn't figure out what it was. This is supposed to be white. I assume they just didn't feel like using a different colored material. They just wanted to like keep it going. It's fine. Um, and then also there's supposed to be the little slits in the sleeves. 
I don't really mind that one that much. Although it would have been nice if they did the little iron-ons like they do for Snow White. But this is supposed to be like an extra dress in the set, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, also, there wasn't really a big trim on the top of the original one. But honestly, if you bought this set and you have any prowess at anything craft related, it would be extremely easy to convert this dress. Like, you would just need white satin, you take this off and cut a piece of white satin in the exact same shape, sew it right back on, take this... Honestly, though, there is a white trim. It's just not this big, so you could probably just, like, fold it, and that would be pretty, and then add little iron-ons, and you're done. So, um, but it's very cute. It's very cute. Also, she just doesn't have a bow on in the movie. I just put it up here because she doesn't have a ponytail and she doesn't have a bow. I think they're probably just going for, like... Ariel does wear a bow in the movie with the blue dress. They could have included the blue dress, but I'm glad they included the pink dress because I actually already have the blue dress, and my blue dress is passable <laughs> um oh and then the shoes they do fit the old foot but not well they do fit they're just coming off but um not my favorite whatever it is what it is with those it's interesting though because she has the toed feet so these also won't fit her because they made the back taller which means that it'll like cut into the ankle and eventually pop off. So that's an interesting choice. I don't know. I don't think they think that hard about the shoes. They're just like, oh yeah, we need to include shoes with this because you can't really see the shoes. So I guess that's their philosophy. Um, I cannot imagine being a kid and trying to put that bread in, by the way. It is a traumatic experience. It, it is genuinely difficult to put on. Um, but I did it because in the movie, she has like a little white one there. And then again, this is the one that we already looked at. That's the one that comes with the set. And then this one, this is the one that I bought at the thrift store that came in this dress, by the way. So I, I don't know. <laughs> Possibly she came in the blue dress, but I don't really know. Anyway, so this is my sparkling purple dress, Ariel. God, this is so pretty. So this dress is probably the worst quality out of the set, which sucks because this is, I mean, other than Vanessa, this was the reason I bought the set. But I mean, there wasn't really a whole lot you could do with this one because it's kind of ethereal in the movie. It is it is a real tangible dress, I'm pretty sure, in the movie. But you know, it's kind of just like sparkly and magical. Um, I really like the fabric choice that they used. It's a very similar to fabric to what like gymnastics leotards are made out of. The cowl thing is quite nice. I think it was attached with one little piece of thread, but it must have come undone on mine because it's not there. I don't super like the way it's just like here. I wish that they had continued it all the way to the back. The construction of the dress is super nice though. I really like the way they made it form fitting. This is really, really nice. Very impressive construction on this one, especially because Disney usually sticks to the exact same shape of dress. So this is refreshing. And then this is why I say that this is not the best quality dress. Also, I wish that this would come with shoes, even though in the movie, obviously she's not wearing shoes with it. I don't know. It would have been nice. Also, my theory for why this dress comes with the set and not the blue dress is because they wanted to have a purple dress for, like, Vanessa, potentially. I don't know. Because um, I'm just thinking from, like, a toy company standpoint, like, they don't actually expect kids to recreate the movie. But you get this dress, and it's the purple dress, and there's also a purple doll, you know? Um, but the reason I say this isn't the best quality is because it's, like not hemmed here it does feel like they potentially burnt or glued the edge so i'll give you that i will give them that i do wish it was hemmed here but it's possibly an intentional choice because it would add bulk but i don't know it just makes it look like i cut it which is not my favorite like it don't because this is sewn together up here so i don't know it's weird it's weird oh she definitely came with the blue dress look at that she has blue underwear on didn't even notice um and then again no shoes which the toad feet look way better with this, by the way. Very, very cute. All right, y'all. So that's it for my review on this set. Now we're going to get into my final thoughts. So I, before I even get started, 100% recommend this set. 100%. I love the two extra dresses that it comes with. The accessories are amazing. And I love that it really fleshes out your like Little Mermaid world. All you really need is Triton from here. Which the other deluxe set, I'm pretty sure, did come with Triton. The, the original one. I'm pretty sure it did anyway. Um, also Ursula, but she's not pictured because <laughs> she falls over. Even minus Ursula, though, 100% recommend this set. I think the value of this set is actually quite good. Disney, Disney store dolls are hit and miss, the Disney classic dolls specifically. Pretty hit and miss. I like them personally, but I also haven't bought any new ones since 2013 when I bought my original set. And I quite like my 2013 original set. They also might be 2014. I bought them at the end of 2013, beginning of 2014. So it's like... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what year they go to, but I could just go look that up. There's some pretty helpful guides online for the earlier years of the Disney Store dolls. But 
Anyway, I'm impressed. The quality holds up, and I think for the intended retail cost of these dolls, which is $10 to $15 each, they're a good deal. I like that they're articulated, and they're articulated quite well. Do they have, like, perfect articulation? Like, the standard articulation? Like, the articulation that I would prefer? Not really, you know. I, I would prefer to not have click-jointed knees. I'm not a big fan of click-jointed knees. I wish that they, especially Vanessa, I wish that she had toed feet instead of flat feet, but it is what it is. I really like the hair quality specifically on Vanessa. It's super, super soft. I really like it. It almost looks real. Like, look how pretty this hair is. It's really, really nice. I think that this set was really well done. Whoever was the one who got this set through with the characters that they managed to get in it and all the little accessories, thank you so much, especially for this dress. I'm so grateful for that dress. Again, I really don't think that dress has been released before. If it has, it's obscure enough that I've never seen it before and I hunt for the other outfits for my dolls. So, um, I also really like the pink dress. I think it's super cute in the set. Of course, it's not 100% accurate, but I can give them, like, the you gave it a good college try. I like it. And I appreciate the little bow accessory, too. I would have preferred the blue dress in the set personally, but I don't already have the pink dress, and I do already have the blue dress, so I obviously like that it comes with the pink dress, but, you know. Anyway, that's it for this video. I don't have a whole lot of these deluxe sets to compare to. I just have the other... I have the two Frozen ones, and I will say that the dress quality in these is beyond what the Frozen sets are, specifically Vanessa, I'm very blown away by. Um, the original Frozen set is pretty good, but it's not the best. But I like the little furniture accessories that it comes with. They're pretty cool. And the the Frozen 2 set that I have is not great. I did, I mean, it's nice. I like it, but the dress quality wasn't the best. I can put the reviews of those in the description if you're interested in those videos. I did them like two years ago, so I'll link them for you because I know it was a while ago. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time. And let me know if you found any cool Disney dolls on sale. I got two deluxe sets. Only this one came in the mail today, but I'll be reviewing another one soon on my channel so stay tuned for all this time for real this time thank you guys so so much for watching bye